it's a good day when you can diagnose a problem and fix it pretty quick. And the only thing I really had to go buy, I borrowed some plumber's putty and I went and bought me a hose clamp. And that was it. Okay, I'm troubleshooting our black tank flush line. So the water that you run into the black tank to flush it out, it wasn't taking any water. So we actually looked and tried to trace the line. You'd think it would be really simple, it's not. So I did take this side panel off that's got all of our tanks in it. We did test, we pulled this line off that goes into the black tank. And, and water was flowing out of it. So that's a good sign. So we know there's no kink in our hose. There's no problems there. So what we did, the no flush flush, there's three bolts here. We've already kind of loosened it up. And so we think there's a clog in this hose or this no flush flush. And this actually sprays all around in the black tank when water goes in it. So I'm gonna try to clean this out. I'm gonna test it and see if it'll actually work. All right, stop. So, there's definitely a clog here. I don't know if it's in here or in there. Um, How about you just blow it out with your mouth? Yeah, no. <laughs> this is black tank people. I can see that most of these most of these look clogged. I've got something that a small screwdriver. I'm going to try to stick down in them. Remember, that looks like a pin. Yeah. Need something a little probably. I can angle. So, we know it's going in there. So, it would have to be all of these holes and stuff in here that are clogged. And I can't tell, but it almost looks like there's screws, threads right here. So, that, that one was clogged. So, if I clean all these like this, something should spray out. If it's not, it's, it's in here. And then I'll work on taking this out. One thing at a time. That one I think goes right there. Those hmm? go all the way down. Those look like they shove all the way down there. What, these? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It'd be nice if I could. They're definitely clogged up though. Definitely climbed up. Yeah, that one looked like you had to put some force in it. Yeah. Too bad we couldn't just buy a new one. Well, we could. And we may have to if it doesn't work. Yeah. But if this is all it does. I need to be careful as I'm working this black tank and stuff's flying out here. The moral of the story is there's always something to fix on an RV. Always something to fix. I feel like um, it's there's a couple of these were open, so there should be some water coming out of it. Yeah, I feel like it stopped at that black thing. Yeah, but I did push the wire in there, so maybe, maybe not. And it could be just built up in here. I do think this is designed to come off, though. I feel like it is, too. And then that would, it's probably just an elbow that stops right here and dumps it all in here. And this right over time builds up. I just bet you. It doesn't have to be a ton of pressure. Push it on there harder, though. Yeah, a couple of them, but definitely not coming out. That is exactly what it is in that funnel. Well, you diagnosed the problem. 
That's good news. Yeah. Now, one thing I don't have on that you should have on is probably some clear safety glasses in case something was to sprinkle out and get in your eye. So, <laughs> gross. Spr uh, sprinkle out. Yeah. So, but but truthfully, this is this is not. It's something that has been in a black tank, but it's not actually black tank. It's not exposed. The outside is, but um, it gets splashed around. So I guess there's some in it. Um, so better safe than sorry. So use some uh, clear glasses. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to see if this comes out, and uh, if so, then it should pick out and be able to clean it out and get it going. So we'll see. If not, you just break it. If not, I'll break it and I'll buy a new one. And there you have it. At least I know what the problem is. Hey, you have diagnosed the problem. Good diagnosed job. Diagnosed the problem, yeah. It only took me a couple hours. You've been out here all day. And my brother-in-law, too. <laughs> my tools afterwards so don't be worried about that. So this elbow is clean and this is completely stopped. Ew. Yes. Ew. It's definitely disgusting. <laughs> it's toilet paper. Oh, yeah, toilet paper. I guess not. I wouldn't be busy. What is that? It's just, it's not even Clogged that. Up, yeah, uh, it's not nasty even. Water. back and install it. I need to get some, probably some glue right here. Uh, I'm not sure that's necessary, but probably some kind of sealant and put on there. Sure. And a seat clamp. And I gotta get a seat clamp, so, but I can test it before that. I'll, I'll uh, kind of lock it down. I gotta go over to my brother-in-law's site. He's got everything, so. Anyway. So this thing originally had plumber's putty on it. There's some plumber's putty I need to scrape off right there what goes in. So I'm gonna do that first and I'm gonna put some plumbers buddy around here and then uh, we'll pass her in. Now the real test is that you're trying to know. So if you will stay and let me know, go test it out. Alright, that's a good sign. 
Uh, it's probably the best I've heard water go in there since we got it. So <laughs> it's probably been it's probably been stopped up for a while and finally hit its point. Everything looks to be good. I'm just watching for any leaks. Everything looks good. I'm gonna do a black tank flush right now. So I'm gonna just double check everything and run it a couple times just to make sure everything looks good before I put this panel back on. So the first fix we did didn't, it filled right back up. And so what I did was took it back off. I got a new one coming in case this doesn't work. But uh, I took and drilled out the holes based off a recommendation from a friend. I drilled the holes bigger so it would allow it to uh, flow a little easier. And we're hoping that works. Do you think Andrea is just using too much toilet paper? Andrea is using too much toilet paper is the reason we have this problem. It was not as nasty, but it had only been in there a week, so, and, but it did, it did take a three or 400 mile trip, so hopefully this works. Sounds like it's going. Okay, we did fix it on the second try. Drilling the holes, that's the right move. So I didn't think of that on my own. A friend of mine who had his done in Tiffin, he said that Tiffin pulled out a new no fuss flush, no fuss flush. They drilled holes immediately in that one. And he said he never had a problem since. So that's been going on for a couple years. So it sounds like that's the way to go. I did go out and get a new one. So having a new one just in case is a spare. If I have a problem, I will fix it. Uh, but right now everything's working really well. We've had that installed for about two months now and probably a thousand miles and have zero issues. And it actually uh, helped with the bigger holes to uh, speed up the process of flushing it out. If you decide to take on this easy DIY project, please leave us a comment below and let us know how it went. Please keep up with us on YouTube and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already or reach out to us on any of our social media platforms, Facebook or Instagram, and those links are below. Don't forget to leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, seatbelts on.